Hi everyone. Uh, uh, hi everyone. Rob Howitt here from uh, RGH Motorbike Training in Manchester, and a very sunny Manchester this uh, April afternoon. Um, I just wanted to do a short tutorial on the way home of uh, rear observations. Now, for those of you that are car drivers, uh, you would have had experience at uh, rear observations. For those of you new into to riding motorcycles, maybe not so much uh, um, practice of rear observations. So, really, I just wanted to explain the different ones and uh, what, why we uh, just to try and explain why we need to be looking. Uh, behind as well as forward, what different types of rear observation there are and uh, how it would affect you um, out on your own and also on your um, tests. Now we have two different types of rear observation. Okay, We have our mirrors which we call an indirect rear observation. We also have a direct rear observation, which we call a shoulder check, or we call, can uh, we also call a lifesaver? Okay, so looking over our shoulder is called a lifesaver. Now, when you're looking in your mirrors, it's going to be given uh, when you. Okay, so when you're looking um, behind indirectly or directly, the information that you're looking at, uh, look at the area that you're looking at, is uh, different. Yeah. So mirrors are giving you a good view behind, um, as far as your eye will allow. Although when you look in your mirrors and see an object, for instance, a vehicle, that object is going to look smaller and further away, and that's because uh, that's because the uh, mirror is curved, it's, uh, a com it's a convex mirror, so anything you look at in the mirror is actually going to be closer to what it looks, okay? So don't rely on the mirrors, alright, don't rely on them. Um, you can combine your mirrors with your shoulder checks, your lifesavers, where you're looking into the area that is out of sight of the mirror, so it's the blind spots. Okay, so when you're looking over your shoulders, you're looking into your blind spots. Now, when you take your practical module one and practical module two, you can yeah you uh, pick up faults if you miss your observations. Um, on your module one, you can pick up faults on moving away, and also on your U-turn if you're missing your observations. On your module two under section 13, uh, rear observations, you will uh, certainly pick up faults if you're missing your observations at certain times. And that's what we're trying to explain uh, during this short tutorial, what observations you need to do. Okay, so certainly before we move away, we're gonna be checking our mirrors and we're gonna be checking our shoulders. Now, a lot of people will say, well, what order do I do the shoulders in? What order? Well, the last observation, the last lifesaver really needs to be in the direction you're moving into. So, for instance, if you're um, parked up on the side of the road and you're going to move off, you'd go left to right, because the right would be your immediate, uh, the danger that you're going into. Okay? Hopefully that would clarify that up. But I'm just going to have a short ride out, and um, I'll just talk you through when I'm looking in my mirrors when I'm looking in my, over my shoulders and give you an idea of what to expect certainly during your training uh, and also on your tests. Okay so uh, what you need to make sure before you go on your journey you need to make sure your mirrors are adjusted for you generally you're going to get two of them so make sure that your mirrors are adjusted the best you can. You are going to see a bit of your shoulder generally. To prevent that, you can get different extensions and so on. But get the best visibility you can out of your mirrors and also make sure they're crack-free and clean. Very important. If they're dirty, you can't see out of them. So I'm going to move away from here. So I'm going to look over my left shoulder, left mirror, right mirror, right shoulder, 
and if it's safe I'm going to move away, which it is. I'm now into my new road, so I'm going to be checking my mirrors. I'm going to turn left at the end, so I'm going to check my mirrors, signal left, manoeuvre left. I'm going to be moving off. Okay, I'm going to check my mirrors and cancel my signal. Looking ahead, I'm going to be checking my mirrors about every 8 to 10 seconds. But I'm going to also be checking my mirrors approaching hazards. Any hazard that I would uh, see that I think would make me change position or speed. So if I look ahead, I've got a, a parked obstruction on my side, so I'm checking my mirrors so that I know what's behind me in order that I know what action I can take. I'll check my mirrors again. Okay, so now I'm going to be checking my mirrors. I'm going to have a little look over my right shoulder. I'm not going over the white line, but I'm just changing my position. Looking beyond the obstruction, I'm going to check my mirrors again. Over my shoulder, come out a little bit more because it's safe. Yeah? And then I'm going to check my mirrors, look over my left shoulder and come back in. So I'm incorporating blind spot checks with my mirrors. Okay, at the traffic lights, I'm going to be turning left. So I'm going to be checking my mirrors and signalling left. Moving over to the left, etc. So I won't talk you through everything else. Checking my mirrors, looking over my shoulders before I move away. Going to enter my new road, command position, check me mirrors so I know what's following me, cancel me signals. Okay, checking me mirrors frequently, about every 8 to 10 seconds. Check me mirrors approaching a drive or junctions. Roundabout, I'm going to turn left. Okay, so I'm going to check me mirrors, and I'm going to signal left. I'm going to manoeuvre to the left, slowing down, checking my mirrors, looking right, left and right again. New road, I'm going to check my mirrors, cancel my signals. Checking my mirrors, approaching junctions. I need to know what's behind me so that I can uh, take necessary action. Roundabout turn left, so mirrors, signal. Observations, right, left and right again. And to my new road, I'm going to check my mirrors and cancel my signal. And as I can see, I've got a Mercedes right up my rear. Yeah, checking my mirrors again. So it's important you know what's behind you in order to ride forward safely. At the roundabout, I'm going to be turning right all the way around. So check your mirrors, signal right, move over towards speed, slowing down. Okay, so then it's a left indicator, look over my left shoulder before I exit. New road, check me mirrors, cancel me signals. Junctions, check me mirrors. A hazard ahead. I'm going to check my mirrors again. Look over my right shoulder. Allow a sufficient distance. Look in uh, my mirrors again. See the vehicle. Left shoulder to come back in. So I'm seeing the vehicle in my left mirror before I come back into my new position. Okay. Mirror signal. Maneuver. Roundabout turn right. So I'm going to check my mirrors. Signal. Look over my shoulder because I'm changing lane. So I'm looking over right shoulder, right lifesaver. I'm checking my mirrors because I'm using my brakes, slowing down. Cancel my signal. Mirror signal manoeuvre on approach to your junctions. Mirrors approaching uh, driveways, junctions. Any uh, opportunity for somebody to emerge on the road that you're riding on, Check your mirrors so you know what's behind. So the traffic lights are on red. I'm going to check my mirrors before I use my brakes. And be aware, check your mirrors regularly while sat waiting. Cyclists, pedestrians, etc. Mirrors, shoulders, off we go. 
have a scan around. I'm checking my mirrors. I can see I've got about 30 cars behind me. So that's important on approaching this junction where a car's waiting to come out. So I'm checking my mirrors again. I know what's behind me, so I know what action I'm able to take. Yeah, scan around. So roundabout, I'm going to be turning right. So I'm going to check my mirrors, so I'm going to signal right, and I'm going to move over slightly to the right. Okay, new road, check me mirrors, cancel me signals. I'm going to check my mirrors, signal left. So you can use an acronym for rear observations, DOS, D-O-S-S, -S, direction, overtake, signal speed, road, check me mirrors, cancel me signal. So checking me mirrors before I change direction. So looking ahead, check me mirrors, I know what's behind. Just change your position slightly to the right. I've not committed yet. So check me mirrors, when I'm going to commit, look over me right shoulder, blind spot. Check me mirrors, yeah, I know what's following me through. Check me mirrors, look over me left shoulder to come back in. Mirrors approaching junctions, mirrors approaching hazards. Another um, obstruction again, so I'm going to check me mirrors, position accordingly. I'm going to reduce my speed, check me mirrors before I use the brakes. Look over me right shoulder, enough room for me to get through. Slow speed. Once I've passed the um, obstruction, check me mirrors, look over me left shoulder, off I go. While you're sat waiting at queues uh, of traffic, traffic lights, um, just be aware, mirrors, what's coming up behind. Okay, so before I move away, check me mirrors, check me shoulders. Enter me new road, command position, check me mirrors, cancel me signals. Okay, approaching pedestrian crossings, yeah, so I'm going to check me mirrors. As pedestrians stood there, have they pressed the button so I know what's behind me in order that I can uh, take the necessary action. Just about riding defence. I'm checking my mirrors now. I'm in the command position. I've got some taxi this time right up my backside. So if you get a vehicle right up your backside, you need to take into account not only your stopping distance, but their stopping distance as well. Okay, so uh, you're sort of thinking of them as well as thinking of yourself. Again, riding defensively. Mirrors regularly. Yeah, so I'm going to check my mirrors, look over my right shoulder before I move out. Checking my mirrors regularly again here. Vehicles pulling out, cars, doors opening. Got a crossroads here, so I'm checking my mirrors again. Because, uh, I want to know if anything pulls out, I need to know I can stop. Mirrors before I use my brakes. Mirrors, shoulders before I move away. Mirrors approaching uh, junctions. I can hear a motorcycle behind, so I know he's behind me. Checking your mirrors regularly. Yep, so checking your mirrors regularly, about every 8 to 10 seconds. Yep. Okay, I'm going to check my mirrors before I slow down. So before I use my brakes, I'm going to check my mirrors. Going to mirrors, right shoulder, change my lane. You always want to be checking that blind spot before you change your lane. Mirrors, mirrors are not going to give you the information that you want. Mirrors approaching junctions. I'm 
Mirrors are approaching crossroads. Mirrors before I use my brakes. Lifesavers changing position. Mirrors, lifesaver, changing lanes. Mirrors, left, lifesaver, changing lanes. So, uh, a little bit of a tutorial there on uh, rear observations, which I trust you, uh, I trust you find useful. Um, it's uh, very important for safety for yourself on the roads, but if you want to pass your test, you need to be demonstrating uh, those rear observations as well. Um, if you like the video, um, like it on YouTube. If you want to see more of our videos, there will be more to come. Please subscribe to our channel. And, uh, you know, because the more the better. There will be more more uh, short tutorial videos, reviews. Uh, any information on any of our courses, you can look at our website, www.rjhgroup.co.uk.